Happy Thursday. I'm always amazed when this works. Actually, you know, it didn't work yesterday. We had the carpet cleaners, and you heard them probably on Tuesday. It was Tuesday, right? Is it working now? Yeah, it looks like it's working. Somewhere along the line, something got unplugged. Now, I don't know if it was me or them. I'd love to blame them. It was probably me, though. And... Uh, sorry, I get distracted. There's so many buttons. Something got unplugged. In the process, the microphone switched back to the microphone in the laptop, which you can't see because it's behind me. Have we done this before? We turn this around and look backwards. First of all, I have a flag. Isn't that nice? Here's the laptop. So the mic's there behind these monitors. Oh, whoa, what's happening? Oh, woo. So we always end up with a really muffled uh, recording when we end up using that mic instead of the one in this camera, which is like right there, I think. I think I, think I tapped it. Come on now. Remember, never move the camera, because then it will just go where it wants instead of where you want it to go. Now, if I can do this without... What the heck, man? What the heck? That was the first of my problems. This is the third of my problems. Um, there we go. Oh, turn, perfect. So... The second of my problems, I don't know if the carpet cleaners came back. You know, I don't even know if they cleaned the carpet in this office or not. I can't tell. The carpet is so dark since I'm moving the camera around. I mean, look, it's black, right? So even if they did clean it, how would you know? It's black. I guess it would look, there would be less white dust on it maybe, but. Oh, man. I should never, ever move this camera because it always takes me a zillion minutes to get it back the way it was. Perfect. Stay. Look how awful my hair is. You get to see it up close, too. I came in this morning, late, having to be on a con call, which I had forgotten about. It turned out to be nothing, but still. The, it said the network cable was unplugged. The network cable wasn't unplugged. It was plugged in. It was plugged in there. It was plugged in there to the hub. It was plugged in on the laptop. But for some reason, and thank goodness Windows logs these events, otherwise I wouldn't have known, at 3.48 a.m. this morning, the Ethernet port just stopped working for no reason. That's got to be a Windows thing, right? Now, I would love to think that the all-night carpet cleaner was in here and he may have accidentally jostled something, but all the connections were good. It was just the laptop just decided to stop working. I had to reboot it. And rebooting takes forever. It's such a pain. So I try to leave this on 24 hours a day. Anyway, fortunately I didn't actually need to be on the computer with a working network to take part in the conference call. Uh, and the hardest part is opening up the mail program to get the secret code so no one will listen in on this meeting nobody cares about. Very exciting job, let me tell you. But I'm important to lots of people, apparently. Today, Thursday, two weeks after my birthday, mm, how time flies. It's 6.34 p.m., Get ready for that. Taco Bell Bong at 638. It's currently 77 degrees. It rained a lot. Not so much here, but in Duluth. Have you seen those pictures between Duluth and Superior, Wisconsin? It's a bad scene, man. It's one of those 100-year floods. And there are streets there that just, they're gone. Bridges are gone. And you look out, and there's all this water. And then you see, like, the tippy top of a car poking out freaky. Fortunately, that wasn't here. Unfortunately, that wasn't Duluth, so I'd like to help them, but I'm just one man.
But it did rain last night. It rained sometime when I was asleep. And it was one of those deals. This is the second time in a short span where rainbows came out and everybody got so excited that they took pictures of the rainbows and they tweeted the pictures of the rainbows and they put the pictures of the rainbows on Instagram. I, I slept through it, so I didn't do it. The first time, I got caught up in that myself. I got a lot of rainbow pictures and there were some Instagrams. This time, I had to rely on others, but it was okay. I've seen rainbows before. This one looked just like those other ones. But it was enough for several people to get very grumpy and ornery and... Hey, were there rainbows? I couldn't tell because you all posted stupid pictures at the same time. Uh, I hate the internet. And I'm going to stay on it for another couple of hours before I go to bed. So when I got home, I fell asleep. And it was like 7 o'clock. And the next thing I knew, it was 2 a.m. And I, was, I knew I'd be wide awake for hours. But I forgot to eat. So I should be starving, but I'm not. Because I'm filling that void with candy. Mmm. This worked so well last time. I love that I had timed it perfectly without realizing it, that it was perfectly at the halfway point, so that you, the still frame for the video looked like this. Ah, a cup more messy. There's some good candy, though. I'm more of a chips and crackers guy. When it comes to sweet instead of savory, hard to beat. Although Amy put a picture on Facebook of some some of those frosty animal cookies. You know the pink and white ones. I love those. The accompanying picture said. Is it bad that I've been hiding these from my children? No way, man. Get get you some. Bring me to comments. One thing you want to do is talk about Canadian food because it will bring out the Canadians and their Canadian comments about their Canadianness. Has uh, wants me to know that these uh, Smarties, these American ones, are sold in Canada. They're not called Smarties, obviously. Smarties are the M&M's looking things. In Canada, these are called rockets. And he included a five-year-old picture, which is probably still what they look like now. And by God, it's the exact same thing, except now 638. It says rockets in almost the exact same lettering, even. So, who makes these? I forget. I wonder if whoever makes these... Do, 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 CD candy. Interestingly... I didn't notice this until today. Just now, look, these are made in Canada. They're Hecho in Canada. Whoa! I just blew my mind. And maybe yours too. So interesting. They get exported as Smarties. So what's the right name? If they're made in Canada, are they really rockets? If so, why aren't they rockets here? Or did some company make them as Smarties and then the Canadian company ended up buying them I don't know, man. It blows my mind. So that's something for us to research and then forget to talk about tomorrow. Has also linked to an ad which I haven't watched yet, but maybe I will later. Lots of interesting comments on the video, the YouTube ad about for Smarties, about the origin of both Smarties and M&Ms. Since it's the internet, it's all true, of course. So it sounds like there's a whole world of conspiracy that we can all get engaged in. Jeff follows on with, it isn't Halloween unless I've eaten some rockets. Also, they are excellent when crunched up and put on ice cream. Why not just eat them without the ice cream? I guess if you like ice cream. I and mean, I do like ice cream, but the ice cream I like, keep looking at it. Like Oreo flavor. I don't think that would go as well with these. Now, this on a sherbet. I can see that happening. Somehow, I've spoken for 10 minutes one more time. I got a new stopwatch. And it looks like it's actually keeping good time. It's the X-Note timer. Freeware. Love it. Thank you, Windows. And thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow to close out the week uh, with a Friday the 113th. Bye.